Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome to everyone. So there was some obstacle on the way. I I welcome everyone those who are watching this live video. I was actually coming at the right time, but there was uh, some uh, problem on the network and also in the system there was some uh, problem. Then I realized that, that uh, God is going to do some miracle today in this live video. I welcome brother Richards for your patience for waiting evangelist J Charles um, brother Richards I I I thank God for your God has given the patience for all you all brothers and sisters so you have been waiting for a long I actually came to uh, come on live at the right time EST 10 pm but there was some problem with the network and also with the system so that was I realized that that was a devil's plan to make the people those who have no patience to go uh, to let the people those who have no patience not to watch this live video so God is going to bless every one of you today I am very happy because God has given a word Hallelujah. Oh power. The fire of the Lord is now released. How many of you believe? So before coming into the live session, I am going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless everyone. In the name of Jesus. Let your presence be released right now. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Let the anointing be increased. Give me revelation prophecy. Let the power and fire of God be released. People be healed and delivered. Lord, you release the power, release the anointing. Let everyone be blessed and let everyone have a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch everyone. Let there be clarity in every sense. No disturbance. Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom you have given. So I was able to find there was some problem in the network and in the system. So thank you, Lord, for the wisdom you gave to me. Let only the name of Jesus be exalted. Bless this, uh, all the leaders and everyone those who are watching. Jesus name, Amen. So, uh, I have, a, I welcome everyone, brother Williams, uh, all the pastor Williams and all the brothers and sisters. So, I have a word. So, I find that this word is going to be a blessing. So, I was struggling to come to life for more than 20 minutes, I think. It was not operating. Then God gave me a wisdom that there is a problem and God released his power and I now am before you. So maybe you have waited a long but the grace is uh, large, is big. The word in which I am sharing with you is from the book of Matthew chapter 22, 14 the verse. It's saying many are called but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. You are called. That's why you are watching this uh, video. And I believe that you are chosen. That's why you had much patience. You waited for more time. You did not go to an other thing, but you waited with patience because not only you are called, but you are chosen also. How many of you understand? When, when many people are called, many people are in the church, when the, they will wait for uh, uh, many time. But if the message is not, uh, they seem uh, the message is not good, they will go out. They say the message is not good. But those who wait with patience, there will be in the last, there will be a blessing coming upon them. Hallelujah. So Jesus is telling a parable in the book of Matthew chapter 22. If you read 1 to 14, we can see Jesus is telling a parable about a king inviting many people for his uh, son's marriage. Many were called, but they and they had no time. They said it is a waste to be in that wedding time. So they went for other business. So he sent other, other servants. They invited other people. They also didn't come. They said we are busy. We are busy with our business. We have no time. Then he sent other faithful servants. 
they went into the streets into the into the every part of the interior part of the uh, town they went into the villages into the streets and they brought many people so many people came for the wedding the bible says some are qualified some are not qualified who are those qualified those who are wearing the wedding garment in a, in our place also you know many people when they are invited for the marriage many people will come not only the bride and bridegroom but many people those who are invited wear a special kind of garment they will come in suit they will come dressed like the bridegroom they will come dressed like the bride so they are having a wedding garment they are wearing a wedding garment so when the king found them those people who are sitting in the in the wedding ceremony some are not qualified some are he found that they are disqualified because they do not have the wedding gar garment so jesus was telling a, this uh, parable he was comparing it with the kingdom of god so today i am telling you i am comparing it with our present church our church it is a thing that it is a, it is a, a kingdom of god our church is a kingdom of god many are invited many are invited many are chosen there are many are in the church because god has called them but there are some people invited by the pastor is relatives the pastor will tell i am going to start a church please come and sit and so in order to make the pastor happy some people will come to church some people uh, when the pastor find that there are no people the seats are empty he will send his work his van he will send his car and van and tell his assistants go into the streets find your friends and uh, tell them to come so they are coming with a condition they will come only when they have a have a transportation so some people when they go, leave the church they will uh, get the uh, tear also fair also so men i tell you some people come to the church for business to give the business cards to get the uh, contacts some people are like that they come to the church for business some people will come to the church uh, some youngsters you can see they will look uh, um the girls and boys there some people are coming for that even in my place my, the believers uh, church uh, are complaining pastor my chapel sandals are uh, stolen so there are thieves also so in a church there are many people some come for business some come for steal some come for uh, business purpose um, some come for exchanging their, their business some come for seeing other people some come come for the proposal for the children so many people are in the church but some are there called by god i believe those who are watching this live video with much patience that's why uh, i was uh, trying to come on live from est tenor from right time but it could not come this is the first time i have experienced it was i was not able to access but uh, uh, i thought uh, everyone has left but those who are called they waited they waited because not only you are called you are chosen you are chosen how many of you are have the vision you are chosen for a great revival you are not called to sit as a believer you are chosen for a great revival so get ready your passports hallelujah renew your passports pack everything get ready your luggage because any time the calling will come so get ready because you are called for a great revival how many of you understand many are called but few are chosen hallelujah matthew 22 14 the verse it says i will read that hallelujah for many are called but few are chosen you are the fewest one many are called in your family but only you are chosen how many of you believe among your friends there are many called that your friends are here many are called 
but you are chosen. Among your cousins, you are chosen. In your in your big family, only you are chosen. In in your town, only you are chosen. In your village, only you are chosen. In your country, you are you are the one chosen. In the world, you are the one chosen. How many of you believe? Many are called for the get the blessing from the place where there is milk and honey are flowing. So all the Israelites are called to the place where there is milk and honey are flowing. But there is there was one person chosen, only one person chosen to make the sun stand still. His name was Joshua. How many of you understand? Many are called. Hallelujah. Many are called. But you are chosen for a great revival. When you minister, the thunder will come. The lightning will come. How many of you believe? That's why you waited for this uh, much time. Many are called to minister. But when you minister, when you are in the pulpit, when you are in the stadium, lightning will come, thunder will come. It will, it will be visible. It is, you know, years back, many are called to the promised land. God called through the leader Moses, Moses, tell, tell my children, tell the Israelites to come, to come to the, uh, tell the people to uh, join uh, the army and follow, follow what I say to get uh, the promises, what I have kept for them in the place, in the place of Canaan, where milk and honey are flowing. So all are called. All people are called for the blessings that is kept for them, where, where in that place where milk and honey are flowing, the place of Canaan. But there was only one person chosen to make the sun stand still. There was one leader to divide the Red Sea. There was one leader to divide the river Jordan. How many of you understand? Many are there in your place. But you are the one chosen for the great revival. How many of you have this mission? Hallelujah. Many are, cho many are called but you are the one chosen. Hallelujah. You are the one selected. Apostle Williams. When I look in you in your name, you are called for a great revival. Hallelujah. Your, your group is going to function as a, as a great uh, revival. Uh, many, uh, many great men of God are coming to join with you. Hallelujah. You are, your group is uh, separated and chosen. I see like that. Hallelujah. I, I see... I see a crown on your head. The anointing is upon you. Hallelujah. 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 It is a breakthrough for you and your family. A financial breakthrough I see. Um, it is you are chosen. You are called among your brothers. You are chosen among your family members. Apostle Williams. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shakarin Tarama. So I, I, I prophesy to everyone. Everyone are called and everyone of you, those who had patience, you are chosen. Hallelujah. Shakarim te naba. How many? You are chosen. Hallelujah. From your blood relations, brother Richard, from your blood relations, you are chosen. Hallelujah. 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 I see. Uh, many many people have misled you but that was a lesson That's, that was a plan you are studying many things you are studying many things you are in the kingdom of God and studying many I see many people um, uh, led you to wrong directions but now you are in the right path you are you are a chosen vessel I see the prophetic anointing upon you. You are going to give a breakthrough to many people. I see like that. The Lord is telling, get ready the luggage. You are chosen in your place.
to spread the gospel to the nations. You are a tool of the Lord. I see uh, many people coming to he, to your ministry and get a healing. Hallelujah. You are chosen. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord's uh, grace. Hallelujah. Is upon every everyone. Remya Rai sister. The Lord is telling that you are... Uh, your family is going to see a breakthrough. You are called in your place and you are chosen. And I hear the word uh, renewal. Something is going to renew in your life. Your family is going to see a breakthrough. And I see a fresh anointing is coming upon your family. And uh, the one, those who are associated, closely associated with you, I see that they are not much uh, close to Jesus, but in these days, God is filling everyone in your house with Holy Spirit. And I see a family get together and the anointing is uh, spreading to the neighboring places. You are a chosen vessel. Hallelujah. Shakabara. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you? Many are called, but few are chosen. You are chosen. Many, many are, uh, many are the, hallelujah, but only Shadrach, Meshach and Abedek were put in the fire because they had a calling. When you, when you face many problems, when you pass through many fire and many struggles, understand because you are chosen. Many are called, many people say we have no problem. We are very happy. Some people say we are very happy. We are no problem. But some say we are facing many problems because you are not like the many who are called. You are chosen. You are separated. That's why you are facing many problems from your childhood. You are not honored because God was separating you. God didn't want you to be associated with other people. So you were silent. You were extraordinary. God separated you when you were studying, when you were in the college, when you are in your family, you are isolated because the God's calling was upon you and you are chosen. Maybe the people in your family cannot understand. They will say that you are good for nothing, but you are chosen. In order to shame the wise, in order to shame the wise, God chose the weak one. In order to shame the rich, God chose the poor. Hallelujah. So you are facing many problems. You are having many problems because there is a calling upon you. Hallelujah. Breakthrough, Carlos Velas. It is a financial breakthrough. I, I see a financial breakthrough. The property is coming in your name. I see you signing agreement. I see you signing agreement. Hallelujah. Shakarama. Norma Gasa sister. Uh, I see a flight. Get ready for the flight. A travel is ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your bonds, Charlotte Down sister. I see a, a big uh, vessel. The bonds are filled. God is giving you more grace, more financial breakthrough and abundance of groceries. I see like that. I see a, the Alamara full of grocery and every everything needed for your house. And you are going to be a blessing to many. Hallelujah. Shakarinta Basikinava. Many are called, but you are chosen. You are chosen. You are chosen in your village. You are chosen in your church. You are chosen in your family. That's why you are facing many problems. When you ask Kaleb, he will say, I was chosen because God gave me a different spirit. It is a spirit of patience, not to murmur. It was a spirit of uh, many things to face. It was a courageous spirit to face all the problems. So God has chosen you. God has called you and God has separated you because you are a chosen vessel. Hallelujah. In your place. Hallelujah. Brother John Hubert Rubber, uh, I see him, uh, I see a small something, a small church like that. I don't know whether you have a church. 
but I see a small church. So the Lord is saying, begin with that. And I will multiply it. Begin with that. This is the time to start. You are chosen in your place. So some people might have told you that it is not good to do the ministry here. But, but it is the time. It is in your place. It is in your place to do the ministry. I see. Begin with the small. But God is going to make it uh, plenty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so you are going to be a blessing to many. Sister Myra Muniz. Uh, I see uh, the provision. Um, I see it is a, I see a cake. A cake is a good thing. It will be a blessing uh, when you give a cake to everyone, everyone will be happy. So I sense that uh, you are going to become a blessing to many. You, you are going to speak on behalf of the Lord. And when you open your mouth, prophecies are coming, revelations are coming. I sense like that. Hallelujah. Shakarinda. So I am going to pray for everyone. You are called. You are chosen. You are called and many are called. When you look back, many have been baptized, taken baptism with you, but they are not now along with you because you are called. Many have been in the church when you come, came for the first time, but they are not seen now because you are here because you are chosen. So many are called, but you are chosen. God has separated you. So after this lockdown, the Holy Spirit is telling me that few chosen servants I am going to raise in many parts. We will meet, we will meet each other. How many of you believe? We are going to see each other. We are going to see each other. Hallelujah. We are going to see each other. Those who are selected. How many of you believe? Because we are chosen. Hallelujah. It is the time. It is the time. I hear the word uh, angel diamond. Uh, something great is happening. Something speed is going to happen in your life. You are going to be a blessing to many. You are going to preach the gospel. Whatever problems you face in your life. The Lord is saying you are facing this because you are chosen and separated. Maybe even the people in your own family are irritating you, but you are chosen. Hallelujah. I see the anointing of the Lord is coming upon everyone. Receive the anointing. It is the anointing. It is a, you are a chosen vessel. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that you are called? Not only you are called, you are chosen. What is this? I was speaking about the wedding garment. What is this wedding garment Jesus is resembling here? If you live in the, in the word of God, you won't be rejected. If you, if you walk in the path of Jesus, you, you, you will be chosen. So there are many people in the church, many come for business, many come because the pastor invited. But those called by God, they will live in the world. They will be separated by the word of God. They will be living, living a holy life. So they will have the garment, wedding garment. That wedding garment is the word of God. So God is looking into, into the church. How many of you are living in the world? How many of you are obeying the word of God? So there will be a time coming. There will be a selection coming. That is in the end time. When Jesus comes, many are called, but few are chosen. Not only for a ministry year, not only for an earthly blessing, but when Jesus comes for the second time, many will be called, but few, those who are living in the word of God, those who are uh, obeying the word of God, they will be having the wedding garment. They will be having the garment of the world. So they will be called. So many will be called, but few are chosen. You are chosen for an eternal life. You are chosen for a, the blessing of the Lord. Akina Chai, Sister, Holy Spirit is saying, 
I see what I see. Um, you are uh, thrown into other place. As if a, a bullet is fired from a rifle, you are thrown into a, into a, a far away place. So God has chosen you into another place where there is a dam, something like that. I see you are, uh, you are chosen to a place where there is a dam, fertile land. I see like that. The blessing of the Lord is upon you. So you don't lack provision. Hallelujah. So the grace of the Lord is upon everyone. God is uh, selecting everyone. So in these days, meditate the word. Meditate the word and find time separated for God. Because God is choosing few. Only few. So do not murmur. Do not waste your time. It is not. Maybe the business is not going. It is locked down. The church is not functioning very well. Because it is locked down. But at your home, focus on the word of God. And God is looking at you. How many of you have the wedding garment? The Lord is looking at everyone, those who are watching this live, uh, this live video. How many of you have the wedding garment? Means how many of you are living in the word of God? Hallelujah. So those who are living in the word of God, those who are following the steps of Jesus, you are chosen. Many are called, many are watching, many are watching the live video, many will be watch the watch the many will be watching the live video later also. But only you are chosen. How many of you say I am chosen? You are chosen from your family, you are chosen from your friends, you are chosen from your country, you are chosen from the world because you are have a calling, you are living in the word of God. How many of you believe? Hallelujah. So God is going to establish you. This is the time of establishment. I hear to everyone, to everyone, not to a particular person. To everyone, those who live in the word of God, those who obey the teachings of Jesus, God is going to establish you. How many of you believe? God is going to maybe... Uh, now you are no, you do not have any office maybe you do not any have any church you are in a rented building you are in a rented building you are doing the business in a rented building you are doing the you are worshiping the in the church in a rented building you don't have any office of your own but god is going to establish you establish means you are having your own how many of you say to everyone I prophesy in the, in the name of Jesus. God is now establishing you. Hallelujah. God is going to establish you. Again and again I hear the word. You are going to be established. You are going to be a part of the great revival. Hallelujah. The power of the Lord is now released. The fire of the Lord is now released in the name of Jesus. I see establishment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bronchitis healed right now. Epilepsy healed right now. The skin disease healed right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is pouring his anointing. You are going to see visions. The heaven is opened. And you are going to see visions very clearly. You are going to signs and wonders are going to happen in your ministry. Oh power fire. From your place, brother Mark, from your place, I see God has chosen you for a great revival. Hallelujah. You are causing the, uh, I see a bridge. Some people have told, maybe in your own place, I see the people have told you, this is not for you. This ministry is not for you. This, uh, this is not for you. But I see you crossing that barrier. You are chosen for a great revival. So get ready. Get ready. And get everything ready. I encourage everyone. Let, let you renew your passports. Get ready with the luggage. A, a time is coming that many are called. But there will be a time coming. And you will be chosen. And you will be moving to the nations. How many of you believe? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I am going to pray for everyone. Lord bless everyone. Lord bless everyone. Separate everyone. Those who have chosen. Many are called but few are chosen. Let everyone, those who have chosen, live in the word of God. Obey the word of God. Follow the path of Jesus. Right now, let the anointing come upon everyone. Be filled in the Holy Spirit. Let everyone open your mouth wide. Holy Spirit is filling you right now. Power in the name of Jesus. Separation in the name of Jesus. The fire upon everyone in the name of Jesus. The anointing upon everyone in the name of Jesus. O Shakarita, God is going to extend your boundaries. O Shakarita, moving to new places. Moving to new places. Hallelujah. Touch everyone. Bless everyone's family. Protect everyone from the COVID-19 and all diseases. Jesus name. Amen. So, I thank God. I am humbled. I thank God. Everyone who have uh, watched this, who are watching this live video. Actually, uh, I was 20 minutes late, but I was at the right time. But there was some problem with the network and with the system. So I thought that the devil wants to delay it. So some people will not watch the live video, but those chosen by God, those chosen few, they were watching this live video and you are entering into the next the established realm. You are going to be established. You are going to have an office. You are going to have an office in your own place. I see the generators working. I see the television working. I see the air condition working. Everything in your office. How many of you believe it is going to happen? So may God bless everyone. May God bless everyone. So I will be coming on live uh, next week. Uh, same time in this group. May God bless all the leaders. All the apostles, prophets, everyone. So let everyone have a good time. Jesus name. Amen. God is going to establish you. Jesus name. Amen.